Okay, we will call this meeting to order. Please note that this meeting will be live streamed. Is there any disclosure between your interests and the general nature thereof? None. Public hearings, none. Delegations, there is none. No. And uh, question period. And I just want to bring to everybody's attention uh, it's all the items in the agenda that can be questioned. The stuff from the last meeting that's in here and the minutes and so on, that can all be, you can ask questions pertaining to all of that. In section one and section two, it's not just the first three pages or something. Okay? <coughs> All right, there are more questions. So moving into part one of the consent agenda, moved by Councilor Kandipasi, seconded by Councilor Bill Foster. It resolved that items A1 to F3 inclusive contained in part one consent agenda be adopted. All right. Uh, in the A section, is there any questions or comments? In the B section, are there any questions or comments? In the D section, are there any questions or comments? The E section, questions or comments? The F section, questions or comments? You heard the motion. Item day one to have three inclusive contain a part one consent agenda be adopted. All in favor? Carried. Part two of the regular agenda. Item G1, moved by Councillor Ray Dufour, second by Councillor Rob Yoakum. Be it resolved that bylaw number 2791 17 be adopted. Being a bylaw to amend Schedule A of bylaw number 2788-17, being a bylaw to adopt the estimates of all sums required during the year and to strike the rates of taxation for the year 2017. Questions or comments? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, this year is to... Uh, in many cases to offset some of the reassessments that are taking place. And I'd like to just provide a little bit of information. Back in 2014, the municipal levy, the municipal portion of the levy was $8.7 million. It is now $7.5 million. So that it's, we're now uh, collecting $1,175,000 1 less money in taxation. Uh, the residential portion of the levy, that's the total portion of the municipal levy. The residential portion of the levy has gone from 5.36 million and it's up to 5.46 million. So it's gone up 102,000. So we're collecting almost $1.2 million less in overall tax money. And the residents are paying $102,000 more than they were four years ago. That's a 1.5% uh, change over that, that total period. The residential class has gone from 53.68% of the levy in 2014 to 62.51. It's gone up 16.44%. So the residents because of reassessment changes, the residents in the last, uh, from 2014 through now are paying rough, roughly 16.4% more in uh, taxation. But, but overall, we're only uh, hit them with one and a half. And part of that is ameliorated with adjustments in, in uh, these uh, uh, classes. So, anyone else with questions? Uh, well, he answered most of my questions. That's counting the the, uh, the industries and everything else. As yeah, well, right? the industry, commercial. commercial. I just took the totals from from uh, yes. the four years from the budgeted uh, final budgeted uh, 
uh, yes. uh, final budgets. And, and then you work with that? Yeah. Okay. Go on with that. Any other questions or comments? All in favor? Carried. Item G2 moved by Councilor Bob Yoakum, second by Councilor Ray G4. Be it resolved that Council for the Town of Espanola hereby supports the attached letter from Cheryl Gallant, Member of Parliament, regarding the Trudeau Liberals removing the tax exempt portion of the remuneration paid to local officials from their 2017 federal deficit budget. And further, that copies of this resolution be forwarded to the Premier of Ontario, Kathleen Wynn, local MP, Carol Hughes, and Ontario municipalities. Questions or comments? Sorry, I did have a bit more information to add to that, just because uh, AMO had requested a that we complete a survey for them. And um, so I did calculate the impact of the change. Um, and so if it stays as it is now, right currently one third of council's remuneration is tax exempt. Um, and that's for your local expenses for local mileage or, you know, out-of-pocket expenditures. Um, so this, <coughs> what the government has done has, uh, is going to make it fully taxable. So that means that um, to members of council, they would be paying um, an extra $8,600. The municipality would have to pay extra um, CPP, owners, EHT on all that, those costs. So that would be an extra $10,000 cost to the municipality and then they asked us to complete it um, if the councillor's net pay was to stay the same how much it would cost the municipality um, and if we did that it would cost the municipality an extra thirty thousand dollars so i just wanted to provide that information to put into context that um, you know that resolution was asking for so i, I did see that somewhere it was in the last uh, federal budget oh okay that we changed that for all of yeah, that's really a transfer from everybody in town to the federal coffers, okay? Because uh, if our if the municipal costs go up, all the taxpayers are going to have to cover those costs. It's a, a hidden tax. But this here's a letter, right? To to uh, to, to take that away, so so that yeah. we're not burdened with that. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Anyone else? All in favor? Carried. Item G3, moved by Councilor Ray G4, second by Councilor Bob Newcomb. Be resolved that Council for the Town of Espanola hereby supports the attached resolution regarding a fair deal for cannabis forestry workers. Questions or comments? Councilor Payne. Uh, I asked this to be put on, uh, as you know, uh, I was asked by Local 74 Executive if we could put that on our agenda. Um, we understand what's going on with the United States and uh, redoing the NAFTA agreement and uh, this affects uh, many industries beyond uh, pulp and paper. Any other questions or comments? All in favor? Period. Uh, check registers for March, April, and May have been put out. Uh, conference of conventions, AMO conference, August 13th to the 16th in Ottawa, Ontario. Uh, Mayor and councillor reports and announcements verbal. Uh, Bob, Dr. Bob. Oh, thank you, Your Worship. Uh, just the one thing. Uh, tomorrow, I guess there is a uh, an event to uh, rep for an employee safety recognition event is going to be held tomorrow. Um, and so, congratulations to all the employees uh, who are going to be recognized. And uh, my apologies that I can't be there. Thank you. Dr. I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Ken. Well, the same, as Bob was saying, we also have a bill has on uh, Thursday the 15th, there's a Seniors Appreciation Day. It's being held at the uh, library in the complex and there's quite an agenda and it starts at 10 till 3.30. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, 
I'll be at the AMO conference in August, and we're trying to get a, a, a meeting with the uh, a government uh, at that conference to get a better handle on why we haven't been able to get the uh, grants on the Highway 6 in the last two years. And future council and committee meeting, community services committee meeting of June the 20th at 3 p.m. and regular meeting of council of June 27th at 7.30 p.m. Regular meeting of council is hereby adjourned. All in favor? Carried.